let's update a story we brought you yesterday at 6. The controversy involving who should advance in the boys' high school soccer playoffs. Well, it's over. Troy Athens and Macomb, Dakota met on the field again today for penalty kicks to resolve a disputed call by a referee in the quarterfinal game played last Friday. Our Steve Garagiola was there for the rare shootout redo. And Steve, we're waiting to hear. Oh, Carmen, it was a lot of fun today. I am not going to try to explain all the details of how we got to this point. Let's just leave it at on last Friday night, the referees made a big mistake. The results of that game were overturned. Troy Athens thought they won, then all of a sudden they didn't win. That brought us to today and a do-over, which they picked up in the shootout with the game tied three goals each. Though the game would last only five minutes, a lot of fans turned out. On the Athens side, many of them a little bitter, feeling they already won this game last Friday, but had it taken away on a technicality. There are calls that are made every day that refs make mistakes on, but you don't go and do over. You just don't. So much pressure on these kids. Two from each side will take their turn to break the tie and send one of these teams to the state tournament final four. The four shooters are ready. The goalies are ready. The fans are certainly ready. Let's do this thing. Mark Iskander shoots first for Athens. Austin Nowak up for Dakota. We're still tied. It's Shamik Patel for Athens. And so it comes down to this shot, and Mason Messias makes the save of his life for Troy Athens. I'm super proud of, of our kids for being able to deal with this for four days and being able to remain uh, mentally strong. My stomach was turning, I just felt nervous. And then the kick and I said a prayer and he went the right way and he made an incredible stop. You're a little proud? Uh, extremely proud of him. <laughs> oh, that was one proud daddy right there. A lot of drama squeezed into five minutes. Kind of gave me the idea that maybe all games should be reduced to five minutes. Like baseball, pick it up in the ninth inning. NFL, start at the two minute warning. All the good stuff happens at the end anyway. But this one is over. It was fun. A great season for Macomb, Dakota. Congratulations to them, although it ends today. Athens goes on to the Final Four. Back sure do. Now, how long did they get to enjoy this big win, Steve? <laughs> Not very long. Uh, that semifinal game is against Rochester in a little bit more than 24 hours. 7 o'clock <laughs> tomorrow night at Troy High School. All so right. uh, they got to get right back to work. Hopefully no more redos, <laughs> right, for the rest of the season. All yeah. Right. Our Steve Garagiola reporting for us live. Matt Stafford would love it if every yeah, game would start yeah. with a two-minute warning. Uh,